Hi, welcome to the Shoe Rainer Drawing Channel, and uh, I've been working busy, 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 busy on my Euclid uh, ebook, which I'm working on at the moment. Euclid is the man who invented geometry, and this is Euclid, these are his friends, and um, this is an illustration I want to do, and well, this is an illustration I've done, but I'm going to show you how I did it, so <laughs> let's not talk about it. Let's do it! Okay, I'm starting out by penciling out my illustration on uh, layout paper, and this is 45 gram, 31 pounds, it's very thin. And the reason for that is because I'm going to put it on a light table in a minute. And I've got uh, an illustration that is kind of basically got to fit that size. So I'll just zoom out a bit there. It's kind of got to fit that size. Uh, now here's a previous illustration I've got to refer, I've got to do Euclid and I've got to put his friends in, in the background. And Euclid is, um, he's got a square. This is a chapter about quadrilaterals. <laughs> okay. So he's explaining that not all squares are square. And they're going, ooh. And I'm trying to think which, yeah, so I'll do that. Yeah, no, there we go. And I want to make his friends look a little confused. So I've got one friend here. Uh, oh. And another friend there, looking slightly confused. Uh, and another friend there. So I'm just really kind of drawing these things in very roughly just to kind of get get a feel for it and then I'm going to tear that off and then I'm going to put this <laughs> you can probably see the lights <laughs> then I'm going to put this on my drawing table yeah like that and I'm going to tape it down then I'm getting this stuff here blue proof marker pad uh, which is really good for um, felt tip pens and I'm going to be doing these in Copic marker pens and then I'm going to stick this paper over the top and you can just about see what's going on underneath. Uh, luckily I know these characters very well now so I can kind of just draw straight over there and I have a kind of a pattern that I work to so with Euclid I always draw this kind of olive crown oh I'm shaking the camera hang on. I always draw this kind of olive crown first and some people think that I'm speeding up but I'm not this is the speed that I draw uh, and he's kind of made this little square quadrilateral thing out of bits of wood tied at the corner which I've used as a kind of a symbol before with triangles and things like that and there we go. So I've been very frustrated the past couple of days because I ran out of ink in one of my markers and it's a really important one and <laughs> it's called Milky White and it's the basic colour I use for Euclid so I've had to order some more and it's just arrived so I'm really thrilled I can get back to work on this project again. <laughs> And we've got his um, toga thing hanging over his shoulder like that. And he's got a kind of t-shirt effect kind of thing like that. There we go. Right, that's Euclid. <clears throat> I'm just going to... I'm just drying that to make sure it's dry before I smudge all over the top. Uh, now I can just see what's going on here. So I'm drawing. This is his one of his friends who has this incredibly curly beard. A curly, whirly, whirly beard like that. And so he's going to be. Surprise, he's got a funny turned up nose, so he's going to be going, oh, like that. And then 
There's another friend who has kind of hair like that, and he's going to be going, oh, <laughs> two. And we're going to see his toga here. Like that. I think that's the only toga we'll see. No, we'll see the toga on the other side, won't we? Yeah. And then we got a kind of uh, McEnroe kind of character here. If you remember McEnroe when he used to play tennis with his sort of long curly hair. Like that. And we'll just put a bit of texture, just a little bit of texture in there. And then we got a kind of a bull headed sort of classic Greek philosopher kind of character. Uh, and he has a big moustache. He'll be going, oh. And he has a big beard too, like that. Uh, I meant to have him doing a similar expression as this one, but I forgot, so I'll just kind of put his hand in there going, oh. <laughs> Hadn't expected that. And that's his toga going down there like that. Uh, and we've got a bit of toga in there as well. And maybe a few kind of ping pings like that. I want to check it's dry. Here we are. This is the one that I've had to refill. This is called um, Milky White. And it's, I never thought I would run out of this colour first. <laughs> And this is the colour I use, the kind of base for their skin tones. And leave a little bit of a circle there. Kind of go around their eyes a little bit and leave a little bit of a circle on the cheeks like that. And just kind of rubbing in the colour and then on his hands as well, arms. So I'm going to I'm going to move that under because I can see the drawing coming through and that's slightly irritating. And now I'm going to another colour called Fruit Pink, which just kind of adds the kind of shade and tone and gives it a little bit of a little bit on the the um the cheeks like that. And I just kind of come, I th I'm just thinking where the, the, the light is kind of coming down from this angle. So I'm putting these sort of bits of shade on there just to give a bit of modelling, really. Um, like that, yeah. And now I'm being, I'm doing this completely the wrong way around, but because the light should be coming this way, but if I'm doing this kind of artistic purposes, just to kind of make things stand out a bit more. Now I'm going to add a little bit of just kind of blue in to their clothing. It's going to like that. Oh, I need to do a bit more fruit pink. And he has a very orangey beard, this guy. <laughs> I'm going to do a darker shade of orange just on top. Gonna do the it's got very yellow hair this one and this one has a kind of brownie hair so I just put this in as a base for the brown and I'm just going to put some kind of 
use the same colour browns just to put some kind of curls and things in there. I need a dark brown in there just to give some modelling to the hair. I need to do Euclid's olive leaves. And this is his quadrilateral that he's made and kind of I say glue together, but he hasn't really strung it together, hasn't he? Like that. And then now I'm into doing some greys, so I want some very light greys coming in his beard. And I'm going to want to kind of put these characters further back uh, and bring Euclid forward. So I'm going to put quite a lot of grey in there. Uh, and that's his beard and moustache but I'm kind of outlining um, Euclid here with grey so that he stands out much more to the fore and then I'm also going to put some in just to give a bit of modelling to his toga and with a slightly darker grey then I'll put modelling in the togas behind like that like that and then maybe a hint of shadow underneath the model there we are uh, I just what I'm just actually gonna just finally put a little bit of a shadow underneath his and maybe there as well because his hair's sticking out and uh, maybe him too <laughs> yeah. right so there we go that's euclid showing his friends that not all quadrilaterals are squares or he's about to in this chapter anyway well if you enjoyed that i'd like you to go over to www.shoerainer.com and sign up for my newsletter where you'll be kept informed of all the different things i'm doing all my different projects in the meantime keep drawing 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 practice 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 and i'll see you next time you take care now bye bye